welcome back to London Beautiful Life. My name's Savina and today we are at a kind of kidnapping premiere at the Regent Street Cinema. <laughs> What inspired you with the film? Obviously, at the moment, there's a lot of debt, a lot of crooky politicians. What inspired you? Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's any, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's, you know, like I have a dearth of uh, inspiration. I guess what inspired me was, well, first of all, I'd made a short film about a kidnapping scenario, and it did really well in festivals. And I thought, oh, maybe there's a way of doing this uh, a bit, you know, as a feature film. And then I sort of come up with the idea of making the hostage a politician and it just kind of came from there I just I just thought it could be a good way of discussing some of the themes weirdly we made it like I don't know uh, two summers ago and so many scandals and so many prime ministers and so many things have happened in two years I'm, I've just been sort of like biting my nails going like any moment the landscape could change so drastically that my film might just be totally irrelevant like maybe a Labour they'll call a snap election and we'll have a Labour government and everyone will feel, be feeling positive and my film will just feel like old news you know so it's been a weird building up to this moment it's been kind of weird waiting to see but this government just keep giving us people that you know make us really <laughs> dislike politicians unfortunately tell us a little bit more about the character you play obviously it's like a, very much like a Bonnie and Clyde relationship right um so my character is um she's an out-of-work actress she's quite frustrated with the way things have turned out in her life um quite hard yeah it was quite hard character for me to play to be honest um and she is in a relationship with a uber driver stroke um computer programmer and they're not very happy they haven't got a lot of money um they're sort of down on their luck and uh, an opportunity comes for um, Brian who is Maggie I, I play Maggie Maggie's uh, boyfriend to um, kidnap a politician because he falls asleep in the back of his Uber and they sort of have this plan to get money from his wife and it kind of all goes a bit wrong but then goes a bit right so I can't say any more than that I don't think without completely spoiling it can you tell us a little bit more about the character that you play well, I mean, there's not much to say. He's a Tory MP who uh, is uh, um, entitled, who is arrogant, who gets away with uh, all sorts of stuff and is, I mean, likeable, which isn't necessarily a Tory trait, but there you go, it's a film. Okay. And what did you do to get into character? Not a lot. I, uh, <laughs> I, um, I, I based on, uh, you know, there are, there are lots of examples um, of Tory MPs who are kind of uh, that strange combination of uh, awkwardness and confidence, which uh, I find kind of puzzling. But um, so I attempted that, and I think uh, I think we, we achieved did we achieve something? Yeah. Were there any scenes that were particularly particularly difficult to film? Yeah, there's one scene in particular which was a surprise uh, in the script where me and one of the kidnappees um, have sex on tape and uh, this act actor, actress, happens to be the director's wife so that was a little bit uncomfortable to start with but once we got into it, it was everybody was fine. Can you tell us a little bit more about your character that you play? Um, so I play Brian, uh, who is one half of Brian and Maggie and um, we we are very much a couple who are down on their luck um, with the tough financial times and all and all of that stuff. And then we um, we decide to kidnap a politician for ransom to try and help our cause. Um, I can't tell you if it works, but you know, <laughs> worth a call.